Hello everybody, good evening, good afternoon, good morning uh, to all the people all around the world. How are you guys doing? Uh, I am in the process of doing a show and I'm figuring out a software which I uh, just got and this webcam max and I'm trying to figure out the settings and all those things going on. I am trying to record a poem, uh, which is the latest poem, which uh, most of the people who have been following me on Facebook uh, might have already seen this poem. Um, but uh, at the same time, you know, I uh, I haven't posted it in many other places. I I had a blog called poetrybox.us. Uh, this this blog uh, I used it extensively for the last 10, 11 years, I think. 2005 onwards, I'm using this uh, that blog. Uh, March 28th, I started in 2005. So it's been 10 years, and the 10 year anniversary went very well. Uh, nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am, uh, I, 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 you know, it's a 10 year anniversary of another thing is coming, which I met my uh, fantastic uh, darling girl, um, whom I call, you know, a friend and uh, who promised to be my great friend forever uh, and uh, I don't even know where she is <laughs> so there is an irony in that uh, but you know I use you know I, I thought I may have uh, add a lot of uh, images and everything in here and show you uh, the perfect way of how I write a poem um, how I get inspired by a person uh, so um, but I don't think right now I can do that uh, picture in picture. I don't know. You know, these things, the uh, many things of this software is something uh, I'm trying to learn. Um, so that's that's uh, key. I mean, you know, I, I, somebody's calling me. And I can see here, you know, who is calling me. Uh, that is my brother from his... Uh, Thing. Um, so I'm not going to answer the phone right now. Uh, so uh, at this point, uh, I may have to call him back. Um, at this point, um, let me tell you what is the way I write. I'm going to tell you, but next I will be show you the next poem. I will show you how did I, how did I do that. So I keep my I'll keep my promise. Um, what I I will do is okay. This poem, this particular poem, uh, pleasantness of a person. Uh, I start writing. I had a set of ideas in my mind. So the first four or five lines, I try to write. Uh, and uh, when I try to write that particular first five, six lines, uh, I got the idea perfectly in my uh, mind. Then I left the poem for some other reasons. Um, I have no idea what did I, what I, I, I was very preoccupied with the calls that are coming in. Earlier it was text messages. When I started the show, when I started recording, people are calling me physically. Uh, well, he don't know whether I'm even doing a show. <laughs> uh, but uh, but the thing is, it happens. You know, when, when I do a show, when I record things, you know, hell can break loose in my shows. Uh, even though it is kind of quiet, you know, in Ustream so far, usually it is in the Ustream that things can go bad. Uh, or it was blocked TV before. Then I tried live stream. Um, live stream is a good good uh, show area too. I mean, it's a fantastic site. Uh, but Ustream is where I came, you know, because I constantly visit the International Space Station, you know, show on Ustream. So I thought, okay, I'll do the show here. So that uh, there is nothing specific uh, or special about uh, Ustream. You know, there is iVlog. Won live, you know, there are a lot of sites right now. You know, it's not just the block TV. When block TV fell apart, uh, we all got scattered and went to different, different places. So, a lot of my friends don't even know that I do a show here. You know, some of them know uh, they they prefer to see the video uh, or they don't just show up here. They say, Okay, yeah, you know, there was a time for you, man. <laughs> uh, uh, I like that. Uh, I like somebody, somebody told me. There was a time for you to do the show, and I think you are, uh, you know, you you should not even restart the show. But I said, you see, I love doing it. Uh, I love speaking to people. Uh, I love, um, you know, communicating. Uh, that is one aspect that actually helped me write. I'm coming to a point which I started. 
what what that's one part I I enjoy doing, which is communication. Uh, then the next part I enjoy doing is you know the process of building something, and this is a poem which uh, I needed to use that process in a very forceful way. I would normally don't forcefully do things because this is a poem which I thought okay. I had a set of ideas in my mind which I can go through and write. Then the set of ideas just fell apart because I don't even remember what exactly was those. I didn't write the whole thing in a prose form, which I used to do that. And nowadays I got lazy. Uh, I, I I don't. I just I just didn't write it at all. I just kept things as is, and then I forgot. Then what I did was it's something like a, um, I I you know I don't know how do I you know if I if I can add something say for example uh, I'm going to add a, this is something like a background recent custom accessories you know faces I don't know this is going to really work but anyway let me see whether it says I can take a picture okay that's a, that's a different thing um, I'm going to try to show you how this is done uh, so I don't know. I mean, you know, how do I add a picture in this? I, I I have no idea. I may have to ask these guys. But now they are not going to come into my screen and sh say anything. I told them not to do that because if they if they do, you know, it will show up here their chat. Uh, and somebody is calling me again. Uh, so here is a here is a tricky scenario. The tricky scenario is when I. Uh, when I wrote the poem, the first five lines, from the six lines onwards, I need to change the idea because I don't know what this, what was that. So I took an image of a person, this particular girl whom I call Mokushta. I took her picture, and there was a picture that inspires me to write about him. That picture was like about eight, nine years old, uh, um, and uh, I thought I may have to find a recent picture of her, but then I thought, okay, when I initially. Uh, was trying to use her image. Um, I thought I'm going to actually um, ask her the permission, and I asked her, you know, can I use this as a background of my computer, and use this as an image of a muse kind of thing. She said yes at that time. So I only use those pictures. Uh, any other picture, you know, using it, I don't think she may even appreciate it. She may like it. So I thought, okay, yeah, you know, it's just better to leave it as it uh, as is. Uh, I can go to her Facebook, sneak in there, even though I am completely blocked out of her Facebook. So I thought, okay, yeah, when I am completely blocked out of her Facebook, it is inappropriate for me to go to her Facebook and you know look into her present day images. <laughs> um, if she don't want me to look at her, you know, yeah, it's better I should not look at her. Uh, so yeah, you know, I have no bad feelings about all that. I mean, you know, people go through different stages of their life, you know, different people come into people's life at different stages and then you move on. But this is a muse, you know, that, that, that's what I can say. This is a muse. So I looked at their image, then I need to con do a, something called a like communication. It's called a constant communication. So I actually went to a, a website where I can talk to people. So I was talking to people. Uh, and it helped me to come out with the rest of the ideas, you know, with her as the image and this communication. So it is two different things that happen. So that's how I actually build that thing. She will be a very, very, very constant presence in many, most of my poems. Uh, so I'm going to go directly into the poem. And unlike the other day, um, today I'll be able to show you the actual poem. The only loss for you is, okay, you'll not be able to see me. <laughs> going through my facial expressions when I'm reading the poem because this poem <laughs> uh, yeah you know this poem is uh, in, in one shot you know let me see if I can do that's one of the problem I have you know because I will not be able to scroll it so I need to scroll it so that's why I'm actually going to do a little bit of gimmick here to do a scrolling uh, and I need to enlarge it a bit Uh, here we go. I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to love. I see this something here. Okay. Uh, 
let me see how it comes in, you know. So I'm going to move it a little more. It will it will pass through it. Okay. So this poem is called Pleasantness of a Present. Okay. I'm going to bring this up and we can read this. Here we go. You can see this very clearly. I believe it is not going to stop you from doing anything else. It still didn't do what I'm supposed to do. Name of the poem, as you may see, is called Pleasantness of a Peasant. Pleasantness of a Peasant. The last drop of winter melted into the spring that just birthed. Fantasies in every fallen flurry I saw. In the thick frozen winter that clogged, Ah, they will only have one face to look, your face filled with kisses of my love for you. A band of fog lingered blocking the morning sun, sleepy owl her last song of the night sang, the brutality of her hunt merged with fog, somewhere with hunger her little one screamed, and she flew way beyond eyesight can see. The screams of my love are only in my mind echoed. Mind in the weight of sadness into many images broke. The fog followed a peasant who with heavy steps walked. The other images haunted the peasant with howling lies. Lies about life, lies about love, lies about you. The walker beyond horizons looked and as if unheard walked, his steps grew heavy as the truth about your love for him he searched. Deaf to every sound, blind to every sight, silent to every call, from horizon to horizon he walked, not lost but in search. Ah, uh, then love spread beyond time and space for one to feel, reality unclocked, material life mocked. The wanderer's whispers unheard. Oh, honey, love of mine is all you are. Love for me, ah, hide not. But still, that present will find pleasantness in a thought about you. There we go. So, that is the little poem which I wrote. Uh, this is the latest poem which I wrote and posted. Uh, sorry about the little bit of technical difficulties that came uh, uh, came around when I was actually presenting, especially my brother calling me and uh, some other things that happened, uh, you know, some technical things that eventually when I was about to start, uh, the people in, in, um, in my uh, the Google Plus or what you call, um, I don't know. Uh, that's another thing which I we use. Uh, I forgot the name of that thing. Uh, so, you know, the Google Plus people, you know, they had some difficulty in hearing me. That's what they said. The audio probably is very low. Uh, so I kind of kept the volume very low. I thought I may add it, but if I add it, I don't know whether it is going to even, you will be able to hear it. So they, they hardly, they uh, some for some reason it went down when I was about to start it. So. I uh, hope you know we will be able to figure this software and able to show you how I do an image. Say what I did was I'm not going to show the image of the original. I may show another picture. Uh, I don't know how to bring a picture and both these things together at the same time. Uh, so you know, what I do was okay. One thing I did was okay, I looked at her image. I talked to another person and I told that person whom I talked to this. This is a circus I'm doing uh, to actually get that muse perfectly. Uh, so that's why some part of the poem really came up. Say, for example, uh, one of the things which I uh, wrote in here was a band of fog lingered, blocking the morning sun. Sleepy owl, her last song the night of the night sang. The brutality of her hunt merged with fog. Somewhere with hunger, her little one screamed, and she flew way beyond eyesight can see. The screams of love, her ah, only in my mind echoed. This, this part was separately written watching a show on TV about owls in Scotland 
and they were really explaining how these how fantastic their senses are you know they have more than maybe five six senses because you know here you know their ears are really located in a completely different way if you are looking at the owl's ears you know one is here and the other one is here and it got an echo location too so the thing is uh, unlike you may really think it's not here you know what you see on top is just like a horn like thing it's not actually their ear so it's another one is somewhere around its cheek and there's a bulging there that part which they can easily identify so when they fly high and, and I was like how beautifully this thing was created by God so you know it's, it's so much of adaptations that was given so that's another thing which you should do when something really really happens Okay, and that actually helped me write. When something really happens, which we cannot be come into a helpless situation, then you need to adapt. So that's where, you know, saying, I forgot the first, uh, after the first five, six lines, I forgot what is the idea. The next part is to adapt to, you know, what I can do. So that actually inspired, that's why I wrote it exactly. I know one note the other day, I'm going to present this poem and I'm going to tell that poem to you. Uh, and in, in that time, you know, I will be telling this, you know, when I read that, the, the owl scenario where you see we should adapt to, uh, to 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 a changing scenario if we are not ready to adapt to this changing scenario we will become a boring uh, case and you know nobody will be even able to talk to you you see i am a person who can openly go and tell people you see i can talk to anyone whether that person is the uh, you know president of the united states or you know an ancient king i don't care you see i don't really care who he that person is you see, as long as that person is ready to talk to me, I will talk to that person. And I know what to talk to all these people. It doesn't matter what subject you are throwing at me, I will try to talk to you in that subject that interests you. So that adaptation is something which I have. That adaptation which I've seen, you know, even in the nature when things adapt to so that, you know, it can actually, because, you know, when it's actually looking from top, there are two things it needs. What is ahead and another thing is what is right down. So with these two, a hearing ability it can pinpoint a creature six inches beneath eyes it can come and capture it from there and you know our little ones are sitting there and the brutality when you look at that it is a small uh, you know rabbit uh, or a rat or a chinchilla you know things like that is what is sitting there they are cute creatures you know they just this guy comes and just boom lift them up and bring it to take it to the uh, to to its uh, to its uh, you know uh, babies uh, or whatever you call it. Uh, so that that that's what that's what you know. I think the adaptation process that is something which we need to take. And you know on the other side, you know the pleasantness. You know when we you know when we, even when everything is gone and you can say a hundred different lies about uh, about things. That's what another thing I said. Okay, mind in way to sadness into many images broke. You know that is pretty much. Uh, you know, when when you are hyper sad, when you are helpless with absolute uh, helplessness, say, eh, um, when at this time, you know, when, when I decided not to actually use a present day image, I thought I will use a present day image. Uh, and I went to her Facebook, you know, logging off from my Facebook, uh, I went to her Facebook because when if I log off, then the block won't work. So I went to, and, and I, I was trying to look into her images. And I said, should I? Should I really do that? I mean, that question really came. Uh, then I felt a little, you know, I, I, I should admit that. I, should, I felt a little sad. Uh, where, you know, where we should have been good friends. We should have, you know, even if uh, there is nothing romantic that is happening between us, uh, we should have been great friends. We had a lot of things in common, which uh, I don't know whether she identifies that. I, I, I think there is still a lot of things in common. Uh, between us and a lot of common things we can talk about uh, and be happy about uh, but you know I felt a little sad that's then then what happened was all I am seeing is okay what could have been a happy event it's something like an inception dream creation you know in the movie inception you go and take one image and then you go and make make up other images so how it could have been so it's all just breaking apart you know in the end so if you remember the movie then you can see when the when 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 the reality checks in the images just blows up 
the, the images you created just blows up. So that's, that's, that's exactly what I was saying. That's based on all that thought, I, I wrote, mind in weight of sadness into many images broke. The fog followed a person who with heavy steps walked. The other images haunted the person with howling lies. And lies about life, lies about love, lies about you. Because all those things which I am actually making up is absolute lie. You see, I can say I'm making things, you know, or it's all hypothetical. That's the decent way of saying I'm lying to you. <laughs> so, uh, the walker beyond horizons looked and as if unheard walked. And you know, I, I don't care what is happening. I just keep on making more images and more images and more images with one image. Then I understood, okay, I should not be doing this at all with a present day image. I should be having a permission from that person in reality before I can do anything about it. But that's not going to happen anytime. Uh, his steps grew heavy as the truth about your love for him he searched. I don't know what he was the truth. Is there any truth in it? I don't know. So just held on to it. So that, that, that's, that's, that, that pretty much rounds up the poem. Uh, so the exploration of the poem, which was not done last time, which many some people asked me, uh, Google Plus and uh, you know, what is the name of that thing? Uh, Google Haunting, you know, whatever it is, you know. Uh, so that thing uh, which we use, uh, it helps a lot. Uh, Hangout, Google Hangout, that's a word I was searching for. <laughs> Google Hangout, the Google Hangout and uh, Google Plus, you know, Google Plus and Hangout are together. We thought of doing this show in YouTube live and I had permission and everything from YouTube. But you know, sometimes YouTube may not be in a happy situation where YouTube can come and tell me, okay, this particular video you are recording, you know, may have background, you know, some music coming in or some something that happened uh, during the time, which is copyright permission, all those things. I have gone through YouTube a lot. Uh, so I, that's why I thought, okay, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not a musician, I'm not, I don't make music. You see, can you see that? <laughs> Look at my guitar sitting in the corner. I don't know how to tune the guitar. <laughs> you see, I don't even know how to tune that guitar. That's my guitar. That's that's my connection to music. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to shut this. I need to call my brother. Then uh, later tonight, I may come back and do another show. And if I do, I will record it again and uh, talk to you more about different things. Okay? Have a good night. Bye-bye.